The Cossack squat is a phenomenal leg exercise for so many reasons. The unilateral nature of it encourages us to work on any imbalances leg to leg. We have a leg exercise that we can find challenging with relatively little load compared to the traditional squat. And the biggie here is that the Cossack squat is a really good hip opener because it not only stretches the hip adductors, the muscles on the inside of our leg, but also strengthens the notoriously weak hip abductors as well, the muscles on the outside of our leg and the glutes. Both sets of muscles can get tight or atrophy from hours sitting. The problem is though that Cossack squat great exercise as it is can be particularly challenging to do. So not only are we going to go through a tutorial on how to do the Cossack squat, but also walk through how to progress it, especially if you're not the most flexible person yet. And on that point, when it comes to the Cossack squat, the biggest challenge for many of us will be the mobility aspect. Opening out the hip, extension at the knee, flexion at the ankle. And actually a set of deep bodyweight squat holds can be great for prepping us to be able to get in and out of the range needed here. Spend 20 to 30 seconds shifting from side to side, just getting the hips open and knees and ankles warm. And when it comes to the Cossack squat itself, our starting position should be about two times shoulder width. And this will vary slightly depending on how low you want to go. And in terms of foot position, we want to turn our feet outward. They'll play around with whatever foot position feels best for you. From here, shift our weight over the working leg. And as we lower down, straighten the non-working leg, externally rotating it as we go. Now this may be a point of discomfort for some, especially around the back of the knee, so only go as low as you feel comfortable. In that bottom position, we're looking for our chest to be loud and proud and want to avoid the working leg collapsing inwards, so squeeze the glutes and keep the knees standing tall. In terms of regressing the Cossack squat, first and foremost we have the horse stance. We want to get stronger and more used to opening out the hips, and holding the horse stance is a great, albeit humbling, way to do this. Place a stick on your thighs to ensure you keep this strict and prepare for extremely satisfying cramps if you are new to this. A level up from here is to get into as deep a Cossack squat position as we can and hold this for time. This will ensure that we build up strength in the most challenging part of the range. And when it comes to layering on movements when it comes to our Cossack squat progressions, we can use bands. Bands aren't just for the upper body and by anchoring a band to a bar, we can hold true to all the form cues we mentioned earlier or using the band to help us get in and out of the hardest part of the Cossack squat in a way that's easy to measure and scale, i.e. we can simply use a lighter band as we get stronger. If you want an all-in-one leg exercise, muscle building, strength, mobility, Cossacks are your friend. And if you want to see how I've been using Cossack squats to work on achieving my middle splits, then check this video out right here.